My name is Kwabena Chenche Inebwati. Many thanks for joining us here on Newsday. So our very first story, and some graduates of the School of Hygiene have this morning been picketing at the Ministry of Employment and Labor Relations. Now, they are demanding postings after five years of completing their programs. They say government has failed to heed to their concerns over the past years, hence their decision to embark on the action. Let's get on to the phone lines now and speak to uh, an organizer of the group, Morris Ankama, uh, who joins us live now over the phone. Uh, Mr. Ankama, good morning. Many thanks for joining us here on Newsdesk. Uh, good morning. So uh, uh, w w what really are your concerns? Why have you chosen to pick it at the ministry? Uh, we decided to pick it in because uh, as I get now, we have not been voting. And we have made several attempts in order to government for us to be posted. Hello? Yes, Morris, I'm listening to you. Yeah, but uh, as of now, we are not being posted. Okay, so, 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 so th th this is what I want to find out from you. Uh, yeah. Is it that you've engaged government and government has uh, failed to do a, a particular thing for you? Have the government give you maybe some promises, make some promises, and government has reneged on those promises, and as such, you are embarking on this action? Yeah, we, we they have promised and they, they have failed the promise. What were the exact things promised you? What did government say? Uh, the, the, the issue is that when you, have, when you complete, you be posted by the government. That is the Ministry of Local Government and Employment. The Ministry of Local Government and Employment. Uh, uh, but as of now, we have tried everything. As last year, October, the minister made a promise to us that uh, by as early as January this year, uh, he will see that we have been put in. Yeah. Now we are in uh, April. Morris, I, 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 I'm, I'm finding it a bit difficult hearing you. I don't know whether you could reposition yourself well and then maybe you could continue with the discussion. But you were telling me that uh, as early as uh, October last year, you had a, 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 an interaction with government and you made some promises. So uh, you yeah. can continue on that note. Yeah, we, we asked that we, we met the local government ministry. Okay. And the employment minister, then they made a promise that uh, as general, they'll be putting it. So when the general went to meet him, he said he's still working on it, and he has asked us to do some, some requirements, which we did that we, uh, together with the CDC to look for the names of uh, the graduates and the letter request of Dr. Krenha. We, we did all those things, but as of now, we are not hearing anything from them. Okay, so wh when was the last time you had an interaction with the minister? I'm speaking of uh, uh, Harun Idrisu on this issue. That was about uh, two months ago. Two months ago. And what was yeah. the response he gave you? He only asked me to look for the document. But after that, he also had a meeting with um, the local government, the employment ministry, and the local government with the Minister of Finance. But that meeting, nothing to them out of it. And the process of organizing a second meeting, it has been more than one and a half months now. We are not meeting. And, and what, the, the last time you spoke to the minister, did he give you any timelines? Were there any deadlines? As of last year, he gave us this year and that January. But yes, well, I, I understand that. When you spoke to yeah. him in October last year, he mentioned yeah. January this year. Yeah. And then you went to him January, and he says uh, there were a few more things you needed to do. Mm -hmm. And you, you are mentioning that you, you provided the documents he requested. Yeah. So I am asking, at the time when you were providing these documents, did he in any way uh, give himself any, any timeline as to when he no, was going to he ensure that you were pleased? He did not give us any deadline. Mm. One would say, are you not being a little too unfair with government? Because it isn't that they, they have failed to listen to you. They have, they, have, they have done a few things. They have met with you on a number of occasions, uh, based on what you are just telling me now. And yeah. uh, really, wouldn't you give them some time to sort things out? Obviously, uh, getting quite a number of people jobs does, doesn't just happen in a day. It takes a while, and the processes need to be fully exhausted. 
Awudi. We believe that we have given them time. Because as of 2011, and we have started petitioning them up now, we have given them time. Yes. It's more than enough. So, right. so you, you've been home for what, five years? Five years now. Five years now we have been in the house. And every day they have been talking about sanitation. Why we are in the house. I want to find out from you, your predecessors, uh, what, what was their system like? After graduation, how long does it take uh, to get placed into any of these jobs? Uh, we have been, I, after graduation, the Ministry of uh, Local Government absorbed you. It's just like the Navy. I, I'm listening. I, I wanted to know the yeah. exact time so, it takes, I mean, over the period. It always takes about three months, then you get your uh, appointment. Okay. okay. And you have been home for five years. And, five uh, years. And you yeah. stayed for five years without making a sound, without demanding anything, and it just it was just last year that you decided to uh, go seek your due. We, we, have, we have written a lot of petitions yesterday. We wrote to the parliament, we wrote to the president, we wrote, we wrote to them, we wrote, we wrote to the local government minister. We have engaged with them, all that they keep on saying is that we shouldn't worry, they are going to do it, they are going to do it. Mm. Okay, uh, so w what is to happen now? You are going to stay there until the minister tells you something or until you get jobs? We are, we are here today for appointment getters. Without the appointment getters, we are not moving an inch. Wow, okay. Uh, many thanks for your time on news desk this morning and we'll be keeping we'll be keeping our eyes on this very issue and uh, bring you a lot more and that was Maurice Ankama he's the organizer of uh, those graduates of the school of hygiene who have chosen to pick it at the ministry of uh, labor uh, they, they are saying that uh, until they are given appointment letters they will not leave the premises of the ministry. We'll be bringing you a lot more on that. But also, we have been told that staff of Kolebu Teaching Hospital are demonstrating to protest the interdiction of the president of the Senior Staff Association, Dr. Charles Ofe Palm. Dr. Ofe Palm was interdicted last week for making false comments about issues relating to the state of affairs of the Premier Hospital. And uh, we'll be going there pretty shortly and be bringing you some live visuals from there as well. We are unable to establish connection with our reporter or some of uh, the some of the staff who are currently uh, on this particular demonstration we are unable to establish connection with them as and when we do have them we'll bring that very conversation to you but let's now move to some other stories now and work has begun on roads leading to uh, Nitavuta a farming community in the Akachi North district in the Volta region six months after a joint news documentary highlighted the suffering of residents. Now, the community is without basic amenities such as electricity, water, and health posts. Pregnant women have to walk over two hours just to get to the nearest health facility. Joseph Opokugapo has more. Get to the hospital is very far, so I have to walk very far be before I take her to the hospital. So I'm suffering. Sometimes when I walk like that, my waist and all my body are paying me, so I can't do anything again. There is no vehicle, because of the road, there is no vehicle can come here. We are suffering too much. This is very difficult for us, so they, they have to do something about the road for us. That's the story nine-month pregnant Doris Bayre shared in Journey's documentary Jungle Poor in October last year. Well, relief is on the way as government has begun work to fix the roads in the community. James Gunu is a Kachi North District Chief Executive. The construction of Nitahuta Road have started. Um, the portion that is under the gist of Ghana Social Opportunity Project, um, seven kilometers from the Yevi Junction to Boge has begun. Uh, this morning I was on the project site with the Honorable Regional Minister. A uh, lot is taking place over there. The other side from Yitahuta to Agomo has been awarded to a contractor. 
Mr. Gulu tells journeys the community is also getting support to fix problems with other busy communities in the area. I can say uh, on authority that after the last documentary, a lot have changed and Nitahuta is a blessed you know, community. Contractors visited the community on two occasions and very soon they will be connected to um, the electricity grid. Rotary Club International, you know, whole chapter coming in to um, do visibility studies to drill borehole for Nitabuta. Seven Hills came in to empower people through um, bee keeping and they have started, they have trained some people. They're going to produce honey, they're going to produce cough mixture and uh, pomade through honey. They've trained close to 50 people. For Joy News, Joseph Apokugapo, Akachi North District. Now, businessman and director of Marbles and Granites, Dr. Edmond Ayo Eni, is to be put before court today after being released from BNI custody on Sunday. National Security Coordinator Baba Kamara had ordered the arrest of Dr. Ayo Eni for circulating information on social media that he, Baba Kamara, had diverted vehicles meant for the NCC to the NDC. The said vehicles, numbering about 50, were rebranded at a facility belonging to Mr. Kamara on the Spintex Road next to the premises of Marbles and Granites. According to the BNI, the angles from which the pictures were taken indicate they, they were taken from the office of the director of Marbles and Granites. We'll be uh, bringing a lot more on this also in a short while. But let's take a break here on News Desk. And when we come back, we'll be bringing a lot more, including the dismissal or sack of the head coach of Kumasi Asante Kotoko, plus a lot more stories right here on Tuesday. Stay with us.